Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to make a small project in Pluto Manager from ABB. I will begin with creating a new project and adding the PLC I am using. Since I am not using an ID fix I will select no ID fix. Next I will declare my inputs and outputs on my PLC. So let's go to the IO options tab. In this project I will use one contactor, one push button, one emergency stop button and two indication lamps. Let's go through how we declare our inputs and how I will wire them to the PLC. Input 35 I will declare as an A-pulse input. It will be the signal from one of the normally closed terminal from the emergency stop. Input 36 and 37 I will set to static inputs. To input 36 the other normally closed terminal from the emergency stop will be connected. And on input 37 I will wire the contactor's feedback. IQ11 I will set as a static input. Here I will wire up my reset push button. IQ25 I will declare as an A-pulse output and it will be connected to the other side of the terminal on the emergency stop. IQ26 and 27 I will set to static outputs. They will be connected to my two indication lamps. Q0 I will declare in the variable tab later. It will be the output that trigger the contactor, so I will connect it to A1 on the contactor. Now let's go to the variables tab and give our variables some names. I will now go to the PLC code and do some programming. I will add a TC2T function block to my first programming rung. It works as a conventional two-channel safety relay with duplicated and monitored inputs. To the two in channels we will add our inputs from the emergency stop. To the output named Q I will make a new memory bit so we can use it later.
and on the TC fault output I will add a second memory bit. In the second rung of code I am going to add a two-channeled reset function block. To the first input I will connect the memory bit that makes sure the emergency stop is ready from the previous block. And to the reset input I will add my push button. And on the test input I will add my contactor's feedback signal. On the Q output I will make a new memory bit to use later. And on the reset indicator output I will also make a new memory bit. On my next rung I will make so that once the TC2T block is ready, the contactor output will turn on. I will now program my indicator lamps. When the reset function block's output is true I want my green lamp to be active. From the reset function block's indicator output I will wire the red lamp. It will be flashing when the emergency stop is active. And flashing when it's ready to reset. I made a little mistake with the two-channel fault. It is supposed to be on the rung below for the red indicator. So if there would be an open line or some problem with the emergency stop it would activate. But it will work to test out anyway. I will now download the program to the PLC and test it out.
My emergency stop button is pressed now then my lead indicator will be active at all time and my contactors won't be active. But if I release it the contactor will trigger and the red indicator will be pulsing. This indicate that I can reset it with my button. Let's test it out again. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.